Hello and welcome to today's SDL Trillion Docs demonstration. In this session, we will showcase how SDL Trillion Docs Collective Spaces streamlines structured content authoring, reviews, and centralizes collaboration in an intuitive interface. Starting with Review Space, we will be in the role of a subject matter expert or content reviewer who receives an email with a link to review a document. Upon clicking on the link, our reviewer Rachel will be logging into the system and then presented with the review space interface. The first thing you'll notice is that Rachel has a full view of the document in the main content panel. So she can see all of the content in context. Additionally, she has a comments dashboard on the right hand side showing the feedback that has been presented by other members of the team. In this case, our document is a sales and marketing guide regarding a new product. Rachel, if she wishes to see the overall structure of the document, can click on Outline to be able, and be able to click anywhere in there to navigate throughout the document. But more than likely, Rachel's first activity will be to check the comments that have been raised by other members of the team. The first comment here you'll see is already resolved. So there's already been some replies and resolution to this. So no further action needed for Rachel. Rachel moves on in the document. And with this one, she may uh, agree with that and wants to add a reply. So she can simply type and click reply and the threaded collaborative replies will be saved and stored. Now the replies are also editable, so if Rachel wants to uh, change something to make this more clear, she may do that. Rachel can simply continue looking at the comments that are made. Perhaps she wishes to um, actually resolve this comment because uh, she knows that The 10th generation is later, so this change should not be made. She may do that. And she will change uh, disposition for the resolution to not changed and select done. And then this comment will also be resolved. So Rachel can resolve and also reply to comments. Rachel can, of course, add new comments and new suggestions, as we can, we can see here. So to add a comment, as the, the helpful messaging at the top suggests, you select something and then add your comment. So let's try that out. Uh, so perhaps Rachel wants to spell this out. So she's going to add a suggestion. So suggestions actually give you the opportunity to type over and suggest exactly what should be changed. So I'm going to select, uh, this is an, an editorial. Um, so I want to spell that out for clarity. So you'll see when I do a suggestion, we get the track changes showing the old and new text. We can also at any point see view original to see what the changes are. So you can see the original document and then the suggestion side by side. Rachel may also wish to add um, a comment. So you'll notice we've got suggestion and also comment. So comment is a general comment. Let's uh, add one here. It's a question for another review, and this one's more of a technical comment. So we're going to save it with that disposition. Now, Rachel has been making these comments. Uh, you'll see that these two that we've added, the suggestion and the new comment, are both unshared at this point. So to make them publicly available to the rest of the team and to finish her review, Rachel can share the comments. She can either share them individually or all at once to make them available for everybody. And this is the way that Rachel would work through using the synchronized commenting conversations to show her parts of the collaboration on this document. Now we transition into the role of the author of the content, who may be a subject matter expert acting as a content contributor. Like Rachel, the author Nigel will log in using his web browser, this time to the DraftSpace interface. Very similar to ReviewSpace, but providing more functionality. Again, designed to be easy to use and minimal training, 
This is a WYSIWYG. What you see is what you get. Editor for structured content. And as we'll see, Nigel will be able to easily edit and make changes to content while harnessing the power of the STL Trillion Docs repository. Similar to Review Space, Draft Space also offers the full view of the document so everything can be seen in context and also provides the outline tab to see the structure and also the comments tab. As you scroll through the document you'll see some more information being presented to the author. Our first topic here, market opportunities, it appears grayed out and it tells us at the top here in the header that the topic is released but gives the option with permissions to create a new version. As I scroll down the second topic here is not grayed out and that shows us that's in a workflow state of draft so you get information clearly displayed to show the status of particular content. Again another released item and as I scroll down you'll see here the collaboration at play you see this topic we cannot edit this one even though it's draft because Michael has this checked out he's working with this particular component from the Trudian Docs repository. So let's work with implementing the comments and feedback. So the first comment is already resolved so no action needed and the second one relates to this change of the value. Now as we note this one is released so I'm going to go ahead as Nigel and create a new version. When I do that you see I'll be displayed the properties um, which will carry forward from the prior version and I can click create and then I'll be able to edit this component. So that again was just required because this was a release component. So now it's in draft state as the, the new version. I can just simply click in and make my change, my 3 to my 6. When I do this, you'll notice immediately I get new icons presented. So this tells me I've now got this checked out of the Trillion Docs repository because it gives me the options to save my changes or to discard my changes. With that change made, I can now resolve this comment. So I'm going to say I change this and mark that one as complete. As I continue to work through the document of the changes, you'll notice that when I select any particular change, I get the highlight telling me exactly where I'm working. So in this case, it's asking to create a footnote. So I'm going to go ahead and add a footnote. And this is exactly the kind of content that is very easy to uh, implement uh, through the draft space solution. As Nigel continues to work through the comments, we're going to make some different types of comments. Now I can also utilize copy and paste. So here are the suggestion was should we add the X -Des Design Pro? And we can certainly do that. And I simply copied and pasted that in. I can go ahead and uh, resolve if I wish, or just uh, skip the resolution. I'm going to go ahead now and make another change here for hardware. So straightforward again, just clicking and typing. For some larger suggestions such as this one, I can also copy and paste the entire new text and paste that into place, either replacing or in addition. So here I'm going to go ahead and delete the old text. And I can resolve as I wish. Now we've been making uh, some simple textual changes to the content. Now I want to look at more interactions with the power of the STL Trillion Docs repository. So let me come back to this comment. So this comment is asking for a particular uh, topic to be added to our publication. So how would we go about doing that? I'm going to go to the outline tab so I can edit the structure. And from here, I'm going to select insert existing topic. This connection is live to the SEO Trillion Docs repository. And I can navigate and find my component, my topic that I wish to use. When I go into the folder, I can click and get previews in real time of the content, which makes it easy to find and select the component that I wish to use. And there it is, dropped it right in place into the document. If I wish to work with this 
component and a topic and make changes. It's already in draft state, so I can just uh, type and make changes. And again, you'll see that I now have my save icon. So this component is checked out to me. I can go ahead and make some further changes. And now let's look at some more structural elements. So from the toolbars at the top, we've got access to lots of uh, content features, familiar icons. Uh, if I wish to perhaps add some structure to this, make this first paragraph where my cursor is a note, I can do that. And then we see that we've got the endnote annotation. Now, there's also ability to have the, the right side menus, so I can change my, my note type here um, as well. And you'll notice that there are also breadcrumbs along the bottom, which are context sensitive. So I can ch make the same changes here as well. One of the great benefits of structured content is the reuse capabilities. So let's have a look at how we would reuse uh, some content from the Trudy and Docs repository. Again, I connect in here. Uh, I can then navigate to, in this case, I'm going to navigate to a resource file. I'm going to get a real-time preview of that. And these are statements which have been stored in this file and made available for reuse. So I can simply click select and insert a statement. You'll notice it's grayed out. When I click on it, it tells me it's a reused note from a particular topic. We also have powerful capabilities for managing tables. So I'm going to insert a, uh, a table from the wizard, drops it right into place. Again, this is context sensitive, so you'll notice now that I have a new table menu at the top that wasn't there previously, because I'm working inside a table. I can choose to add a header row, perhaps. I can type in here my header. I can also, from the context sensitive menu, perhaps add a title. And I can populate my tables. I can also easily work with images through the draft space interface. So let's insert an image here into my table. I'm going to insert an inline image, again connecting to the Tridian Docs repository. Again, I get real time previews. And I can choose a particular image and select Insert. But I'm going to firstly show you how to upload a new image. So I'm going to make a selection to upload an image from my, from my local machine. And because it's a new item that we're adding to the Tridian Docs repository, there'll be some properties to populate. So first, I'm going to give it a name. And you'll notice some other uh, fields. And I can also uh, see the uh, the optional fields as well. So I have access to the full properties. In this case, I'm going to go with the default. And there's my new image to click and insert into my document. We're working with the image. We've got the uh, uh, breadcrumbs along the bottom. Context sensitive. We're also within the table, remember. So because we're in the table menu, we can uh, have the usual kind of table features that you'd come to expect with moving columns, displaying cells, and things like that. With some changes already made, I can go ahead and save my my changes for this individual component, or indeed for all the changes that I've been making throughout the document. Now, with the component that we've been working with, we might want to change the workflow. We might want to push this forward to be reviewed, for example, and then have somebody pick that up to review the changes that we've been making. So this has quick access here. Uh, for the workflow. You could also access that through the properties panel, which gives you access to the workflow status here, as well as other items such as the author, or if I wish to assign a particular reviewer, I can do that from the optional fields. And this is completely configurable as to which fields would be presented. So I could assign Michael to review this one, for example. Final item I wish to show is how to create a new topic, a new component. So we do that from the outline tab again. Instead of inserting an existing topic, we can insert a new one. And you get presented with a nice wizard 
to ask you where would you like to create this. I'm going to create it in my Topics folder. And then it provides templates If I from the structure. So if I want to create a concept or maybe a task, you get previews of those templates, which again are completely configurable. And then I can put in a title and the other properties. And then that can drop right in place to the structure. I can also move things about as needed and then work on this component or indeed change it and assign it to someone else uh, to be reviewed perhaps. And that completes today's unified collaboration demo using SDL Trillion Docs Collective Spaces, showing how centralizing enterprise wide content collaboration can be partnered with the easy authoring and reviews. Thank you for your time.